is going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome to the Fish Corner. Um, we do a lot of entertaining things over here, educating things of that nature. So if you like that kind of content, enjoy the video and hit that subscribe button before you leave here. Make sure that notification bell hit so you catch all of our uploads. Anyway, so what do we have going on in this video today, guys? We have that little refugium that we wanted to do on a 37 gallon. So guys, we have a 37 gallon to my right right here. We are going to put a five and a half gallon refugium on this aquarium. It's gonna be above the tank, so I have it elevated. I have a, quite a few things to do. I've never drilled a tank, so today we're gonna to be drilling the tank. We are going to be adding rock, sand, everything that's needed into that tank. Aside from the macroalgae, we gotta actually buy some macroalgae or some cheddar or anything like that. But um, nonetheless, it's gonna be a fun video. It's gonna be a dope build. Hopefully I don't crack anything. Hopefully I don't break anything. Hopefully I don't have to go get another aquarium. Typically, you don't drill a five gallon aquarium. It's kind of small. You know, um, the glass is very thin, so it's gonna be kind of difficult to get it done. I like a challenge. So let's see about this challenge. So let's get the table out. So we have our table. Let's get our tank. Have our tank. Tank. Water. Diamond drill bit. Tape. Drill. All right. So the goal is this. Let me get the bulkheads. Bulkheads. Goal is. So instead, we're going to use these two. These two I bought. I already had these two right here. So since this already has the little hose adapter. This is the one I'm going to come off the side with, like I was telling you. And so again, we're going to come in high, about right there. Bring these two, come off about right here. So that's what we have to do. Let me show you what I have. We got to cut this wood right here so we can fit this tank onto there. So. We have a few things we gotta do. I think first, I'd rather go ahead and start with the hardest thing, which is drilling this tank. So let's do that, because if I crack this tank, I don't have to cut that wood. So let's get that done, and then we'll move on to the next task. All right, so I want you to have a close-up of everything that I'm doing. So the way this right here works. What you do is take this out. On this end, you have this flat area right here. So you put one of these adhesive, little sticky little strips onto there, just like that. So let's just do it, matter of fact. Let's just do it. So take it off, put that right onto there, just like that, right? So you see, it's, you see how it's stuck on there, right? So then take it off and we then we'll place this where I want it at. So coming in, we're going to come high. So I'll show you one better. I'll show you just like this. So I'm thinking, all right. There will be good. Okay, so press it down. It's on there. It's on there good. Next, you fill this with water. That's why we have this water right here. That's to keep it cool so it don't crack. All right. And so when we're drilling, you don't want to press down on it, not hard. Just let your weight just kind of hang and that'd be enough because it's actually, it's grinding through. It's not cutting, 
is grinding. So this this don't hurt at all. It's not abrasive or anything. But to this glass, it will be. So, like I said, like I told you guys, I don't know if you caught the last video. If you knew here, you didn't. But I, but I mentioned how I have never, how I've never done this before. But I want to do this for the first time with you guys. So how can I make it to where you guys can see me? I want you to see how this is going. There we go. All right. Okay, guys. So here's gonna here's the best view in the house. But first, let me add this piece of tape right here onto the bottom on this side, and that is because I don't want the piece of glass to just fall off and then crack the other side. So, one little, one little trick. All right. Starting off going slow, and now I'm speeding it up. 20 minutes later. Well, I rushed it and I cracked it. I believe that's the reason why I cracked because I started putting too much pressure on it. I wasn't feeling it going through like I thought I would. So uh, let's grab another tank and do it again. But first, just since I told you already that this was the first time and it was unsuccessful, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again until I actually get it done. Once I actually complete it without cracking it, then I'll go grab another tank and then we'll do it for real. But I'm not going to test it again on a brand new tank. I got this one that's cracked, I'm gonna throw it away. I'm about to put this thing to work. So uh, let's do it the right way. So let's do it again. Like I said, learn from your mistakes. This was a, uh, you know, definitely a learning, learning lesson. Could have been a lot more expensive. This is only like 13 bucks. So it's all good. So, let's try it again. Cracked again. It might very well just be too thin. It might be too thin, guys. Try it one more time. You ever heard the saying third time's a charm? Third time's a charm. I'm so glad I did this instead of doing the wood. But let's try one more time. We'll tape the other side. All right, let's do it. Okay, so, it cracked. And I learned from the first two times, and it still cracked. So, we are about to just change things up. We are no longer going with this type of setup for a refugium. This is ridiculous. So, the issue is, the glass is just too thin. And I'm fine with that. I'm 
going to keep that. But that's not going to stop our video. No, I am not going to grab another one of these tanks. Just not going to do that. We are going to use another method, though. This method is going to be storage container. I think it's going to work just fine. It's not going to look as beautiful as this. But how do we salvage this video when this is what the video was about? One thing I could think of is getting air. Getting air. Getting out the so now that we have an empty pallet again, let's grab a storage container. Let's finish this up. All right, so I have the bin. We're going to try it again. I'm going to use this bit coming in high. Coming in. So the size, I'm not really having too many options, but that's not even flat. And it needs to be flat. So I'm going to come in through the front. Wow. So so ugly oh it's so ugly and that's just not going to be flat it has to be flat yeah so this is just temporary guys I just want to make sure that I'm giving you guys some kind of options so in case you want to try it yourself so I'm going to use a diamond bit on this one Got it. No, uh, no crack. And sometimes that can happen. So it's perfect. So I'm glad I used the diamond bit. Anyway, so that's one. We have two more to do. So now that we see that works, I'll speed it up. You don't have to watch this portion, but um, I'll be right back. Again, I'm a little upset that. We're using this little five gallon or six, whatever the hell this is. Using this little storage container right here instead of the five and a half gallon. But I knew it was taking a chance. You know, five gallons is really thin. Would have been a lot easier if it was like a 40 breeder and up. As long as the glass is not tempered don't want to drill tempered glass but you know it's all good like i said live and learn glad i'm able to still get this done for you guys and for the fish they need this all right all right all right just like that water coming in Water coming out. I might change it up how I have it sitting up there, but maybe not. So we got that part, we got it plumbed in. Next, I'll put the sand in here. Let's get the sand right now. Live sand so you don't rinse it. told you if it's live it's gonna be wet that's how you know all the bacteria is still alive if that's if it's dry it's no longer live and this one comes with a water clarifier because it's going to definitely make the tank a little cloudy but it is what it is we, we got to get this going Best believe this is the only this is only temporary guys. Let's not let's not get this confused. Don't have me over here making it seem like this is gonna be a permanent situation. It's not. 
we 100% will do this 100 times better and bigger when we move and that will be soon so i keep talking about it because it's happening soon can't say how soon but when you watching these videos hitting the like button supporting these videos all that um it helps us get there faster so i i def we over here at the fish corner we really appreciate you thank you so much uh, continue to do so please share the content if you know somebody that enjoys similar videos um yeah so there we go all right got that it's thick huh thick all right so now we have this rock rock right here this is a base it's caribsy live rock base purple i love the purple stuff Here it is. So let me go rinse this. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. It's all rinsed. Here we go. Drop it in. You know, I say it looks good. I think it looks good. It would have looked better, but. Maybe I'm just being a little biased, huh? But I actually think it looks good. I'll show you right now what it's looking like. So you want to take my word for it. I feel like y'all will keep it real with me. That's one thing about the Fish Corner fam. Y'all keep it real. Y'all don't like it. Y'all tell me. If y'all do like it, y'all will tell me. So, I want you guys to tell me. Is it terrible? Is it terrible? It's just for Copa Pies, just a refugium. You know, it don't have to be pretty. But tell me, do you think it's terrible? And it's going right up here on this little platform. Watch this. All right, here it is. So I'm not going to lie, it took a little bit of time to get this thing plumbed in. And I will not sit here and try to pretend like it's the most beautiful setup that you could possibly do. But with the parts that I had, this is the best that I was able to come up with. For now, again, it's very, 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 very temporary. But if you guys have anything that you would do, if you guys have anything that you would do different, by all means, feel free. I just want to give you guys an example of something that you could possibly do. So let me explain what's going on here. So I use this pump right here. It came with my hang on the back skimmer. So no longer using that. I plumbed in this line right here, this hose. I had to use my heat gun to um, soften it up to, uh, to in order for it to be able to fit on this end right here. So I have it going up, going into there, got the hose clamps there, as you can see, there, right there, and also right here. So what's going on over here is that if for any reason this one was to fail, we have this one right here. So um, I just have that coming out with this hose and just going right into this on um, this half inch PVC right here. So again, not beautiful. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's supposed to serve a purpose. So now let's just see if this thing has any leaks and uh, fingers start crossed guys. So what I'll do is I'll pour in the first, I'll plug it in. And as it's pulling water out, filling it up, I'll start pouring in some more water and uh, that'll fill that up so fingers crossed that this works and there's no leaks I'm not going front I've been doing this for a while off camera alright it's pulling water 
water in, guys. And shooting it in kind of, kind of quick. Leak so far. All right, we at this fitting right here, so the water is going back in now. It's going in kind of fast, so it's not even touching this one at all. It's not hitting that one whatsoever. That seems to balance out. So now, so where we do have, let me see, there we go. So it's making like a suction sound and that's because I put this T in here. Uh, so it did the same thing over there. So what out, and there is a small leak. We do have a small leak right here. All right, so a couple of things that I need to do. One, I need to try to tighten this. Tank is definitely cloudy. There we go. See how did that treat the leak still there? Stupid cloudy. All right. So we got a couple things that we got to do here. We got to get this leak fixed. And I'm feeling like, fortunately, I got to loosen it first. There we go. Now, tighten it back up. See if that did the trick. Kind of, it kind of did. So I need to bring it down just a little bit more. All right. Still got a little. Check. 
But now we got to do something about this, right? This is crazy. So what I got what I got to do now? Got a little bit right there. So I did, all these are dry. All these are dry fit. So the only one I glued is right there. But this is dry fitted. This all the way down. So we're not gonna be able to do a nice little montage, but we can fix that as suction, right? So I really didn't even have to, really didn't have to do that one. But it's there, so we'll leave it. All right, guys, so here we are. We got the light up there and everything. So I'm glad it's orange instead of being like bright, but that's a grow light I bought a while back and I had it on a 10 gallon refugium that never went right. But nonetheless, that's it. Like I said, very plain. Now it's easy, you know, compared to having to drill the glass, etc. Here's the tank right here. Still a bit cloudy. It'll clear up by tomorrow, but that's pretty damn good considering how cloudy it was originally. You just seen it a second ago. But anyway, um, yeah, you've seen all the mistakes that I made. I mean, I, I basically cracked the five, five and a half gallon three different times, tried it with three different pressures. And lo and behold, more than likely it's because the glass is so thin. I don't know if one of you experts could go ahead and drill out a five and a half gallon, but if you can, please do so and uh, drop that down in the comment section. Let me know that you did it. You know, matter of fact, you could even post that picture on uh, Instagram. Let me know that you did it. I would be happy to see that. You know, trust me, it's, lot, it's not easy. But anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, guys. So that is it. We finally got that done. It's been something that needed to be done for a while. Let's give you a better view so you can see this behind me. But yeah, so there we go. Got the little orange tank right there. So anyway, like I was saying, took a little time. Definitely needed, got the refugium up here. Next thing we have to get, we're gonna get some cheddar. We're gonna get some macroalgae. We're gonna get some hermit crab. We're gonna get some copepods, trigger pods. We are going to load this up with everything that's gonna help sustain this aquarium right here. It's 37 gallon. We're gonna grow a nice colony of copepods. So in the future, we could go ahead and buy a Mandarin Dragonette. I've been wanting another one for quite a long time. So once we have our copepods, we're gonna put them in there. But anyway, like I said, very simple design. Use everything that I had already. Broke the five and a half gallon. This is nothing but a little storage bin. Very, very, very cheap storage bin from Target. So anybody could do this. Um, you could drop them down and drop your comments down in the comment section. Let me know if it's if you still think it came out all right. Anything I should have done differently. Uh, you know, your comments are always welcome, whether they're negative, positive. I might not always like the negative ones, but you know what? You took the time to comment. So I'm going to appreciate it, even if I don't respect it. But anyway, I really thank you for sticking around. Some of you have, some of you haven't. Thank you guys for sticking around. This was another banger right here. I hope it was educational. I hope it was entertaining. I hope you learned something. I hope you could do this one, if not do better for yourself. In the future, we're going to do something amazing. You want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that enough of this thank you for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram at the fish corner follow me on tiktok the fish corner follow me on facebook the fish corner don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell comment share these videos and again until next time guys i love you peace